Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall Panda Antivirus. If for some reason you're looking to move on to another antivirus application, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to start by closing out of any windows you might have open on our computer. And then we're going to head over to the start menu and type in programs and features should be listed directly above control panel if you're using a Windows 10 device so left click on that left click on where it says Panda Protection and then left click on Uninstall you will be prompted if you are sure you want to uninstall Panda and all of its components left click on Yes so this will begin the process of uninstallation of the Panda Protection Suite. So just be patient here. So it appears that they're probably going to have us want to fill out a survey um, why we're leaving Panda. That's why it's trying to open up a web page here. At least that's my hunch. I know a lot of products do that when you try to uninstall them. So I'm just going to close out of that. And I'm going to set it to restart later for my, the purpose of this video because there's one more thing we have to uninstall. So make sure it's set to restart later. And now we see here something that says Panda Safe Web. You want to left click on that and then left click on Uninstall. This will remove the other application that was bundled with your Panda installation. Assuming that I believe you installed their Safe Web during the installation process, I don't believe it's required, but I think it's definitely something that most of you guys probably also have bundled with your Panda antivirus. So you just want to make sure you uninstall that as well, unless for some reason you wanted to keep it. So it's just going to take a moment here. Okay, so just select whatever language you're using. Click on Next. Now left click on this checkbox that says Uninstall Pandas Security URL Filtering. And then left click on Finish. And then again, you close out of the Programs and Features window. And then I recommend restarting your computer. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So at this point, the mandatory stuff is pretty much finished. However, if you wanted to be on the safe side, I'd recommend either running a disk cleanup scan using the utility built into Windows. Or you could also run a CCleaner scan. And on top of that, run a registry cleaner scan within CCleaner. Uh, just make sure you create a bank above the registry as always before you proceed with that. But again, those are two little optional things that I would suggest, but I don't really think it's necessary for this tutorial. But it's just something nice to keep in mind. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.